Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. The title of this video is Dope Francis, the Roman Catholic Heretic. Yes, you heard me correctly. Dope Francis. I, I refuse to give anyone the title of Pope. Uh, the correct title for Francis is Dope Francis. Now, you may be thinking, that's very rude, that's very disrespectful. Well, it's intended to be. I do not respect Dope Francis. In fact, I do not respect any of the Roman Catholic dopes. And I'm saying dope because they're foolish. I will not say Pope because Pope comes from the word papal or papa, which means father. And the title that they give these people is Holy Father. And then the Bible says that the name Holy Father is only found one time in the Bible. And it's a title, a designation for God Almighty. Holy Father is God Almighty. Francis is not God Almighty. None of the, uh, the, of the line, the historic line of all these dopes, none of them have been God Almighty. And yet they take that title for themselves. Now I have a, a playlist called Roman Catholicism Debunked. It's probably about 10 hours completely showing the, the errors of Roman Catholicism, the origins of it, the, the history of Roman Catholicism, the history of these uh, dopes, the leaders of Roman Catholicism. I, I suggest you, you watch that if you don't understand the problem of Romanism. There's a, a video I made called Antichrist is here right now. In that video, I, I, I show that Antichrist is not one individual that's to come in the future, as many people see it. The Antichrist is a name for all people who are against Christ, who do not acknowledge Christ as our Savior God. So, every Jewish person is an Antichrist. They're against Christ and his true identity. The Jewish people who are religious today, who don't even believe in the Torah, the Old Testament books, they, they believe in the Talmud now. Like 30 vo voluminous volumes of writings by rabbis that basically are teaching a totally different religion than, than historic Judaism. And they identify Jesus as a, a bastard that was conceived by a Roman centurion and Mary, the mother of Jesus. They do not identify Jesus as Messiah, Christ, Son of God. They call him a bastard and a false prophet. They are absolutely antichrist, the Jewish people. Muslims are all antichrists. They do not acknowledge Jesus as eternal God Almighty, the Son of God, the Savior of the world, who died for our sins. They No, they say, no, he's not the Son of God. He's merely a prophet. God, They say God has no Son. 
And they say Jesus did not even die on the cross. It was someone else that God put on the cross to deceive us all. So they make God out to be a liar and a deceiver, to tricking us. So all Muslims are antichrist because they are against the true identity of Christ. All Roman Catholics are antichrist because they deny the saving ability of Jesus Christ. They say they believe that Jesus is the Son of God. They say they believe that he died on the cross for our sins and he rose from the dead. But if you ask them, do you think you're going to go to heaven? And if so, why? All Roman Catholics put their faith in their own ability. They say, well, I, I might go to heaven because I'm a good person, because I'm religious. I, I believe in the Ten Commandments. I follow the Golden Rule. I confess to the priest. I take communion. All, they justify their salvation on their personal merit. They are not justifying their salvation on Christ, on Jesus. They're, a Christian is a person who is relying completely on Christ for their salvation, who totally uh, uh, re, uh, denies the ability of anyone to work their way to heaven through personal merit. A Christian says, no, personal merit cannot get you into heaven. That's why we need Christ and we rely on him. Now, so that is what an antichrist is. And um, whether you're an individual or an uh, organization, uh, a religious system like Romanism or Judaism or Islam, these are all antichrist systems. And if you're participating in this and believe that, then you are an antichrist yourself. Now, what about this one we have today, Dope Francis? Well, the history of the Roman Catholic dopes is, is, a, is the, a history of some of the most outlandish, terrible atrocities ever committed against mankind has been committed by the, the Roman Catholic dopes. But this one today, he's by far the worst of any I've seen in my lifetime. Now, all you gotta do is just Google the question. Did Dope Francis say that Adam and Eve and the Genesis account of creation is merely a fable, not a true account, historical account? So he does not believe in the Genesis account of creation. He thinks that it's just a fairy tale, a fable. He also says, Google this question, did Dope Francis say that even atheists can go to heaven if they do good deeds? It's true. Dope Francis does not even believe in the basic concept of Christianity, and that is that everyone needs Christ. He says that you don't need Christ for salvation. You can even be an atheist and not even believe in Christ, not even believe in God generically. And yet you go to heaven if you just do enough good deeds. That's your dope Francis. Jesus disagrees. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. All through the scriptures, it tells us that you can only go to heaven if you have faith in Jesus Christ for your salvation. If you do not have faith in the Son of God for your salvation, you end up in hell. It's that clear cut. And yet, this leader of Roman Catholicism today, Dope Francis, t says that you don't even need Jesus. So, if you're shocked that the title of this video is Dope Francis, the Roman Catholic heretic, if that seems disrespectful to you, well, it's intended to be. I do not respect Romanism. I certainly do not respect any of the, the, the all, all the Roman Catholic dopes throughout history. And Dope Francis is the worst I've seen in my lifetime. 
I hope now you know the truth. I want to ask you now, if you never put your faith in Jesus Christ, do it now. Stop trying to work your way through heaven, to heaven through some kind of religious system. Admit that it's impossible to get to heaven through personal merit, and that's why you need to be saved. That's why you need a Savior. And that's why you need the one and only Savior, Jesus Christ. Rely on him. Put your faith in him to get you into heaven. Not, no one else, nothing else, except that Jesus died for your sins and he promised you eternal life if you trust him for it. Put your faith in that doctrine. He raised himself from the dead to prove he is God and Savior. He has the power over life and death. Put your faith in him now. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.